Hey, fatty, do you want to lose weight the easy way? Just cut fat right out of your diet and be done with it. The fat is rock bottom. Okay, rock bottom. The only fat I'm getting in is from the lean meat sources, which is moderate at best. The amount of meat I'm eating in the day is three to 400 measly grams. It's plenty and a pile of carbs. The best way for most of you fat pigs to start this diet, just do a 72 hour fast or a 48 hour fast on snake juice. It's good motivation to see a quick drop. And then start the diet just by cutting fat out. Cut fat out. Okay, I don't gotta explain how to do this. Okay, you look at the label, if there's fat in it, don't eat it. The only fat you're allowed is whatever's in lean meat, leanest meat, the leanest meat. White fish, chicken breast. Lean, lean steak cuts. No added fat at all. This is going to wake your body up. Insulin resistance, carb sensitivity, type 2 diabetes. Reverse it all just by cutting out fat. You won't even be thinking about the weight loss anymore because you're just going to be losing body fat without even trying. You're not even going to have to try. You won't be counting the days because your diet sucks. Okay, truth be told, at this point on this diet, the way I'm doing it, I don't even need to weigh myself. I'm just going to end up ripped. That's how much confidence I have in this diet. Okay, it's a normal diet. It's not radical at all. Okay, anything that's radical, you're pulling carbs out. Okay, that's radical. Okay, going super low fat. You don't need any dietary fat when you're fat. You don't need any when you're even slightly overweight. Okay, until you're ripped. At that point, you need like a dab of fat in the diet, which is enough that's in the lean meat source. You don't need fat. I get it. You guys are completely sugar phobic. Okay, you've been completely brainwashed for the last probably eight years on sugar. Okay, you're, you're misguided. You're absolutely misguided. Misguided. This diet gives you high energy. 100% adherence. Okay, if you're hungry, you just eat more carbs. Fat causes type 2 diabetes. Pounding fat. That's what makes you insulin resistant. That is type 2 diabetes. When you cut the fat out, your body just soaks up the carbs. That's why I can literally eat in a sitting, which nobody even would be doing this. I can eat like 400 grams of carbs. And my blood sugar will spike up immediately because obviously it's going to. Because I just ate 400 grams of carbs. It's got to sit in the blood for at least a second. And then it just drops like a rock. Nobody on a zero carb diet is going to have that kind of blood sugar control. Okay, that kind of glucose tolerance. They're not. That's the definition of reversing type 2 diabetes. That's the definition. Okay, having control of the blood sugar when you actually hit yourself with some carbs. This diet's a joke. People need to wake up. You fat pigs. You don't even have to think about it. You just got to think about cutting the carbs. If you're hungry, have, a, have some more fruit. Okay, have some clean starch, single ingredient carb sources. Your food volume will be way higher. Because soon as you knock the fat out at 9 calories per gram, the food volume goes way up. Eat more vegetables. Okay, peas and carrots, I eat beets, whatever you want. Okay, you just cut the fat out. Over time, you will get lean. With a crazy amount of energy, excellent sleep. Okay, perfect blood sugar control, obviously. Perfect bowel movements. This diet is the diet. It's the diet. Okay, it's the diet. When I'm telling you how my body reacts to glucose, and I'm telling you that I'm eating a pile of carbs in a fasted state, I'm like under 4 millimoles per liter blood sugar, like 3.7 I was talking about. And then there's people that are saying, well, everybody's different. Okay, my blood sugar wouldn't get that low if, unless I fasted for 10 days in a row. That's because your body's messed up, dummy. Okay, it's because you eat too much fat. 
That's because you refuse to cut fat right out of your diet, trace fat at most from the lean meat, and eat carbs. Fuel yourself on carbs. More than half of the planet that's actually skinny eats a low-fat, high-carb diet. The oldest people on the planet right now, over 100 years old, which obviously barely anybody lives to over 100 years old if they're fat in the first place. Anybody that's living to over 100 years old is eating a low-fat, High carb diet. This is so simple is why this is so easy to coach. You just cut fat out of your diet. If you see fat on a label, throw it out. This is going to wake your body up. You're not going to be bitching and complaining. I'm carb sensitive. I'm on day three of a zero carb carnivore diet. Ah, that sucks. Because it does suck. It sucks. When all you got to do is eat fruit and starch and cut the fat right out and eat vegetables. Vegetables, fruit, starch, and lean meat. Lean meat in moderation. Okay, the adequate amount. If you're a woman, you wouldn't need over 250 grams, 200 grams of meat. If you're a fat person, really fat, you don't need even any meat. Okay, even the protein can be limited down to nothing until you actually get to a good body weight. Okay, unless you're a fat guy that's pumping some serious iron, then he's got to meet the minimum. As long as the fat is rock bottom. Eat less fat, lose more weight. Permanent weight loss. Okay, crazy high compliance. So high of compliance that you aren't ever struggling. Like, you just eat... If you're hungry, just have some more carb. Have have a can of peaches. Okay, your blood sugar is gonna wake up so much you're gonna have a can of peaches, and that blood sugar is not even gonna move. I had a can of peaches this morning before I went for that swim. I ate the peaches, and literally ten minutes later, checked my blood sugar is at four point seven. Like <laughs> nobody on a zero carb diet or a fat person that's insulin resistant is gonna pull four point seven after eating three hundred calories of pure sugar. Right? Like, they're not. I do because my body's working right because of this diet. Not because I'm an alien or because, you know, my genetics are better than yours or some nonsense. It's because you are messed up. This diet will fix you. Until next time, cut the fat out of your diet, fatty, completely. Cut the fat right out. Fat people do not need any dietary fat. You don't need any fat until you are ripped. And even then, a teaspoon of fat a day. And stop eating, fatty.